Design Improvement of Disc Brake with Guided Pathways for Better Airflow Abstract This paper is based on analyzing the airflow characteristics in conventional slotted and drilled disc brake rotors vs a virtual prototype with guided pathways extruded out of the main rotor body with cylindrical fins and curved vanes present between two plates of rotor. SolidWorks 2018 and ANSI 18.2 was used for modeling and running simulations on both conventional and prototype design. The FIA method is used to find out airflow patterns during spinning of wheels on different time steps. During a motorsport event cars run on a track with both sharp turns and long stretch of road and better braking action can be really advantageous. As brakes are generally air-cooled and with continuous braking through an event can raise temperature of rotors quite high which could result many possible circumstances like thermoelastic vibrations, heating up of brake fluids, wearing out of rotor surface and also it give rise to thermomechanical stresses which lowers the fatigue life of any component which eventually results in failing or inefficiency on braking system. Better airflow characteristics potentially have better and faster cooling rate of rotors which will support the idea for this prototype. So, to test how guided pathways in brake rotors affect airflow I have carried out simulation studies on my prototype and compared it with rotors available to purchase. Results of the simulations turned out be better as compared one of most used type of rotor, vanned with slots and drilled holes, as brakes are sucking air themselves. So, this design will work better even if there aren't brake ducts present in car as they are normally found in sports car. Keywords ANSYS, brake rotor design, airflow, FIA, conventional design, CFD analysis. Introduction Ever since automobiles have people want to take them as fast around race tracks and engineering masters are putting their lot of effort in making cars fast and fun to drive but if the vehicle cannot stop efficiently or in time it's all worthless because safety of driver is topmost priority of any automobile manufacturer. Evolution of brakes had been done in previous years and from wooden brake pads then drum brakes and now disc brakes their design is continuously improving. In 1953 Formula One race automobile experts used disc brakes in their car and won that race because when you can apply brakes later and still be able to take a perfect turn, it will reflect in the lap time. For any motorsport event where, braking conditions are very harsh it is very important for driver's safety that brakes should work properly and efficiently. In a disc brake system, Rotors provide the surface for absorption and dissipation of heat at the time of braking so besides brake caliper and type of brake pads a lot of factors of braking depend on rotor characteristics. During the event of braking as pistons. In the caliper squeeze the rotor and with that it comes under static and dynamic loads, thermal and fatigue stresses are generated and with them sometimes it also accompanies by inducing small vibrations on rotors. And when car takes a turn accompanied by braking action at the time both transient conduction and convection behavior of rotors comes into the picture where it is important how thermal load is distributed across the surface of rotors and how much time it will take to cool down to an optimum temperature because if temperature of brake is still high then brakes will not work efficiently and slowly will lead to thermoelastic deformation which alters the contact pressure distribution when brakes are running very hot inducing vibrations in rotors due to uneven braking pressure. Types of brakes As far as braking of a car is considered there are different types of brake rotors for different cars depending on lightweight or heavyweight, what kind of vehicle it is, a sports car or a family car and also depending on different types of weather conditions as per their optimum performance. Dissipation of heat through solid objects occurs with convective heat transfer and radiation but usually the amount of radiative heat transfer is low as compared with convective heat transfer so the designs mainly focus on the same. Drilled disc rotors, as the name suggests there are holes drilled through the rotors which allows hot gases to pass and gives rotors more surface area to come in contact with atmospheric air to cool down. The holes also allow the water to get out easily when vehicle is running in rain and there is water around brakes. Vented rotors, they provide more surface area as compared to drilled rotors because the more surface area of hot metal will come in contact with fluid more will be heat dissipation. They currently use 70 different rib configurations in disc brake rotors. These are straight, vent or segmented. These are some combinations the two types of rotors discussed. 
All these designs are focusing on increasing contact surface area keeping strength of rotors appropriate according to the vehicles. Literature Review Previous understanding of the basics of fluid mechanics and heat transfer coupled with knowledge of flow's numerical modeling, CFD has significantly gained preference in the automotive industry design process as tool for predicting complex flow and heat transfer behavior in regions where otherwise very laborious and time-consuming by a combination of nototosurface and surfacetosurface contact elements too. Cycle braking with phase of idles after each braking can raise temperature up to 708.790 OC and driving cycle with 14 repeated braking can raise temperature up to 1244 OC3. Heat transfer coefficient, if the temperature profile T, X, Y, in the thermal boundary layer is known, then the heat flux. Where K is the thermal conductivity of the fluid. In practice, a local heat transfer coefficient H, X, is defined as. By combining these equations, we get. And mean heat convective heat transfer as. 4. Objective. Various designs have been created to maximize the surface contact area to increase heat dissipation from brake rotors and there is still room for new and innovative designs. Even if we increase the surface area by adding extra vanes or making slots through rotors it doesn't mean that the whole area will come in contact with cold slash atmospheric air. It is obvious that after some amount of heat is lost by rotors the air around will warm up the air and the temperature difference will reduce. So. The objective of this paper is to design a prototype rotor which will be able to pull air itself as it will rotate with the wheel. This will make extra surface useful as it will be able to release heat from brakes to the air more efficiently. Methodology Inspiration of Design Figure 1 Schematic Working of Centrifugal Compressor In fluid machinery we have seen how a centrifugal compressor works. It increases the pressure of fluid by action of centrifugal force and creating a pressure difference between center and circumferential edge. A similar approach has been taken in this design, when vaned rotors rotate they also create pressure differences between outer and inner edges. This phenomenon creates motion of fluid, due to pressure difference, and actually helps to circulate the air but if we provide an opening and guided path for the air it will reach to the veins more efficiently and will help to cool down rotors faster because it motion of air particles will decide the convection coefficient of the disc plates, as it depends more on geometric and fluid flow rather than material properties. Figure 1 shows schematic diagram how fluid flow occurs in a centrifugal pump. This diagram provided a perception how things need to work in the prototype rotor. Figure 2 Schematic Airflow Across Rotor In Figure 2, standard vaned rotor with drilled holes and slots, it can be seen that to direct that flow of air to vanes there should be a guided path cut out from it. Design Characteristics Figure 5, Sectional Views As per the objective of the paper this design have certain geometric features to have better heat dissipation than standard rotors. Figure 6 Guided opening with cylindrical fins are there to increase surface area. Figure 5 shows the guided path profile which has been cut out in such a way that when rotors will rotate there will be low pressure zone near center at that time air will be sucked into it and directly go veins more efficiently through the path created. In this way it will move across larger surface area and more heat can be easily dissipated with more airflow across the brakes. Air will go in axially and come out radially. For ensuring that air flows towards veins small guiding fins have been added at the exit of guided paths which can be seen in figure. Also, cylindrical fins have been added in space between veins so that they can dissipate more heat and can also provide structural integrity against squeezing force of brake pads during the action of braking. CFD Simulation to check the validity of virtual prototype rotor simulating analysis is important to verify that modification in geometries have any positive impact towards the objective. Every fourth time step calculated by simulation software of both models have been compared and from flow patterns of both models it quite clearly appealing that with guided pathways cut out from rotors with some slight modification in design features can have better airflow characteristics than normal brake rotors. Also, 
with better airflow characteristics and higher speed of flowing air through veins will help in faster cooling of brake rotors and help to avoid circumstances of overheating of brakes under continuous application. This could also help in reducing thermoelastic vibrations induces do non-uniform contact pressure which happens when brakes are at certainly higher temperature. So, with more precise calculation of area of opening of guided pathways, angle by which they turn air optimized with more surface area and less weight they can use in sports car and even for endurance motorsport events where usually brakes fail due to excessive heat and not enough time to cool down this type design will work better than currently mass produced disc brake rotors. Future Scope This paper represents the benefits of having guided pathways through rotors for better air flow through veins inside it. With the help of this virtual prototype the difference between average convective heat transfer coefficients of both can be found and with them transient cooling behavior of brakes can be studied. If the model shows significant improvement it can be adopted for both family and sports car but for that a easy way to manufacture will be required. So, it will be a challenge to manufacture this type of rotor at considerable cost as the design is expensive for production.